Hey guys, what's going on? Inception here and welcome to another video. Ladies and gentlemen, today we have the Tudom card to review. Uh, we're taking a look at someone who is six foot four, high, high work rates, right footed, three star, three star capabilities. Um, a lot of people were upset at the fact that this card didn't get, uh, you know, a weak foot adjustment or a skill move adjustment. I'm going to be honest with you guys, it doesn't really matter because with this card, you're going to be testing him out mainly in a defensive way anyways. So... You know what I mean? Like it doesn't it doesn't really matter that much. Player traits, solid player, technical dribbler, in-game attributes. Um, so for us, when we had the other card, right? I was trying him out on the anchor as well as the shadow. Um I was about to search Tudom again as if I didn't have him already on the screen. <laughs> um, yeah, so with Tudom, guys, we gave him a shadow chemistry style before because of the pace boost as well as the defensive boost that the card was given, right? So because of that defensive boost in regards to interceptions and sliding tackles, I just preferred that personally uh, for those quick little movements, right? Uh, because obviously having that little bit of extra interceptions considering the fact that he's a tall player, it kind of helps out, right? Uh, this card can also be a lengthy player on an anchor chemistry style. You just wouldn't boost the interceptions or sliding tackles as much, but you would be boosting the physical while working with a lengthy player. So we will be trying him out on both accelerates to see what the card is going to be like. His shooting in game is going to be in a significantly better area, uh, which is definitely a huge plus for this card. Passing also going to be in a very good area. Passing is always going to be an important thing to have when it comes to midfielders because your build-up play, a lot of a lot of it revolves around your center mids, your CDMs, because you have to play the ball back because of the park the bus meta, right? Um, with the dribbling, he does have an 85 for agility, 82 for bounce. The rest of the dribbling stats have been improved as well. If we take a look at the difference between that and the SBC version, it's going to be in a two difference, right? So here's the thing. Twos, threes, and fours once you get to that kind of point, it does kind of make a difference for a lot of these cards because they're boosting multiple areas of the card. For some of them, it depends, right? Because some cards, it didn't really make that much of a difference. Like if it's Mbappe, Mbappe's Mbappe. It doesn't matter, right? But with Tudom, I feel like because of the way that his dribbling was before on a high and average, it would be nice to get that improvement, right? Uh, defensive stats on this card, also going to be in a fantastic area. Whether you give him a shadow or an anchor, depending on you, no real big deal there. Uh, and then he does have really good physical stats as well at a 92 for strength, 82 for aggression that can be improved with an anchor chemistry style. So it looks like a very interesting card for the most part. So for us guys, we're going to be trying him out in different ways. Uh, it's mostly going to be seeing defensive animations and all that good stuff. We have a 5 2 and 2 that we're checking out because we're a bunch of rats now. Um, Tudon playing in the right center mid position is going to be on cover center. Um, but he's also going to be playing in that right center back area too, because again, we want to test him out defensively as well as attacking wise as well. So yeah, we'll see what this card is like. Hopefully he's a beast. Ooh, Todom. Oh boy, Todom was going in for the run right there, huh? We'll take that. Guys, I know that this card only has a three-star, three-star capability, but, like, it's still a good card. You know what I mean? Like, you're going to use them more defensively anyways. And honestly, I'm using him on the attack right now, and it's great. All positioned. Oh, the animation to shoot. Such a good build-up, too. Oh, man, that run he was making was fantastic, too. Oh, I couldn't get to it. Oh, 
Well done, Tudom. I, I really wish there was a mechanic in this game to twist your body to finesse. I don't know why that's not a thing, man. Like, there is, but it's random. You can't selectively do it. Oh, man, I should have lot past that. You know, Patrick Vieira is just... Give me ball simulator, so... Oh, unlucky. Oh, we don't get the reach there. Of course. Of course. Nice, too dumb. Track back by Turan was really good though. Yeah, I don't feel like I was gonna be too close there. Oh, he still did well there. Let's go. Look at that pass. Oh, it was a close one. Tudom did okay. Like, it's uh, it's either you get it or you don't, you know? The, the tackle was fine, though. Nice goal. Let's go, Tudom. Get involved, my boy. Now we got it. We got it. I like that his dribbling feels nice. Like on this card, if I wanted to use him as an actual box to box, it feels good. Oh, I'm unlucky. Nice to dumb. All AI there too. I was unlucky too. I got a green time shot on Tudom there, but Done. Good goal. Vamos, vamos, boys, vamos. And two down from kickoff. Close, man. It was close. Would have been a good goal. Oh, 
man. I wish that registered like to the far side. That's kind of what I was going for with Tudom. Good call, boys. Well positioned. Oh. Yeah, take that rat. Take that rat. Tackle Tudom. Came out of nowhere, too. Okay, guys. So, final verdict on this Tudom card. So, guys, listen. Uh, this card is better than the first one. Like, not just like a... You know, it's like I always tell you guys. You know Mbappe, right? So, when I review Mbappe, I tell you guys, like, listen. If you go from inform to, like, one rating higher, two rating higher, you don't really care. Like, you have to get to the really high rate of... Like, a 92 versus a 93 Mbappe? Like, who cares? A 92, you're good if you did that SBC, right? Tudom is a little bit different. In my opinion, the card was pretty good before, but he's even better now. Because before on the card, I personally wouldn't want to use him as a box-to-box -box center mid. But with this card, you actually could. And he gets involved really nicely. Now, this is not going to be like Dimitri Payet, where I tell you guys, like, listen, Hunter chemistry style this time. It's not like a 50-50 like the Winter Wild card. With this version, guys, it's a 50-50 as well. So it's going to depend on you. Uh, whether or not you want to make his accelerate a lengthy uh, to boost his defensive stats because now it's different right his defensive stats is all in the 90s area which is a huge plus while working with good physical capabilities and a good enough pace on a lengthy accelerate so the anchor chemistry style works out great on the card too however the two main areas that you will notice a nice difference on when it comes to defensive capabilities is obviously going to be in interceptions and sliding tackles on a shadow chemistry style because of that extra boost that you give them in that area while already working with good physical stats. Now, the thing is that there's a trade-off with one or the other, right? So the trade-off is in extra interceptions, which makes a huge difference to be fair, because he's a taller player working with a high and average body type, but the anchor also gives him a jumping boost. And as you guys know from that corner kick tactic, it is very helpful to have, you know, if people go for goal kicks, they kick the ball down the middle, you want to be able to win that too. Situations like that, right? So very 50 50 situation whatever you want right it's really up to you generally speaking though guys this card is great honestly i actually enjoyed using it as a box to box like i was using it mainly in the defensive ways to test them out defensively to see what the animations are like great they're really solid right just like they were before but this card on a shadow or an anchor he's just a good midfielder to have like yes in the beginning when i first saw the card there was a bunch of dislikes on it and the dislikes came from people um, you know, with this card not having a four-star weak foot or whatever it is. Guys, if the card had a four-star weak foot, first of all, he'd be higher in price, okay? Uh, second of all, the price that he's at right now for the capabilities that he offers you, for the links that he offers you, he's a very good defensive-oriented midfielder that can play on the attack. Because if you use him as the box-to-box, -box, for instance, you're playing like a 4-3-2-1, uh, or you're playing this 5-2-1-2 that I'm checking out as well, where he's on just cover center and he just does his own thing, he gets involved really nicely on the attack on a consistent basis as well, right? So the fact that he has a shooting capability to be able to do that is great. You can see that his running animation on this card, like I liked him more on a shadow just because of the extra defensive stuff. Dude, the card runs really, really well on a shadow. Like there's no, there's not that much restriction on him when he runs. So that's why I'm telling you that giving him a lengthy accelerate would also be a plus because of that lack of restriction too. So for me personally, I feel like the difference uh, between this and the other one, it's it's been a big one. I, I know it's only twos and threes, but it, he's noticeably better than the than the SBC card, which is great. You know, it's a, it's a very solid card, gives you very good links in your team. You can't go wrong with it. Guys, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video today. I'll catch you guys for the next one. Peace out, dudes. Love you guys.